Yeah. Hey. Hi there, Agent Murden. Legendary thief, you are yeah, rad shot, looking shot tonight. Shot bag, shot bag. Uh, Thanks, you know. Shot gotta wear the costume, gotta flex a little, I guess. <laughs> shark, 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 shark. Hey, what is up, everyone? We're about to look at the Buildrat Party Book clothing set. If you watched the last two videos, you'll already know the spiel. But I decided instead of making one long video of all the sets together, I broke it up into three videos. So if you're curious about the weapons and the ship set that go along with these cosmetics, definitely check out those other videos on the channel. But now we're going to go ahead and look at all the clothing that's in the set. Alright, so finally we're going to look at the party boat clothing set. And the first one we have is the party boat dress. This requires you to unlock the Seat of Thieves accommodation. So you can unlock the Seat of Thieves accommodation by sitting with another pirate at a table at the tavern. So this one could be a little difficult, but basically you're going to need to like have an alliance or something and get another player to the tavern where you can sit down and have a drink with them, just hang out, whatever. The party boat eye patch requires you to unlock the moment of reflection accommodation. This eye patch is cool, it kind of reminds me of like a kind of cheaply made play costume if you want to think of it like that. I don't know, just some of the stuff in the set like reminds me of like when you see like those middle school plays where they're like, you can tell they made their own props and stuff. I just think it's kind of funny and cool to have. So the moment of reflection combination requires players to take a seat at the end of a dock while the sun is setting. This one should be pretty easy, just you know, find a dock, when the sun is setting go ahead and take a seat. Next we have the party boat gloves. These require the a new day accommodation. So to complete a new day accommodation, you'll need to take a seat at the top of the highest peak in the wild while the sun rises. Alright, so this one's going to task players with going to Old Faithful Isle and sitting at the very peak of the island at about 5 a.m. in game time. You can use this by looking at the clock that you have in your inventory wheel and that can help you keep track of what time to go for this accommodation. Alright, so next we have one of my favorite pieces of clothing from this set, and that's the party boat hat. It's basically like a little crown, and honestly the first thing I thought of is if you've ever seen like those Archie comics, you just have Jughead and he wears a crown in those. That's all I could think of when I saw this, and I definitely want to have it. This requires players to unlock the Hider of Secret Treasures accommodation. So the Hider of Secret Treasures accommodation tasks players with bearing valuable treasure anywhere in the Sea of Thieves. So, I don't know how many times you have to do this, this is another one where it's a grade system. I'm assuming this is probably going to be like around 50, maybe 100. It depends on how much of a grind Sea of Thieves wants these combinations to be. So next we have the Party Boat Hook, and this is another cool one, it's got the, the crown theme still. This one requires players to unlock the Tribute Seat combination. So this one's going to be a little more difficult for players that haven't done the Tall Tale, but to unlock the Tribute Seat accommodation, you're going to need to take a seat upon the throne during the Shores of Gold Tall Tale. So I'm pretty sure when they mean throne, it's what we're all expecting. That's at the end of the Shores of Gold Tall Tale, you defeat the Gold Hoarder, and he has his throne there, and you can take a seat. So I'm kind of happy I haven't finished the Tall Tale because now I have a reason to go back and finally do it for the last time. If you don't know where to start for these Tall Tales, in order to unlock the Shores of Gold Tall Tale, you have to start at the beginning. The first one is the Shroudbreaker Tall Tale, which you can unlock by going to any tavern. And in the back near the Mysterious Stranger, there's a little table and it'll say the Shroudbreaker and you can vote to start it like any other voyage. So this one's a cool one. I'd recommend trying to do it. Or maybe if you have a friend that has already unlocked the Shores of Gold Tall Tale, See if they'll take you to it, do it. So next we have the Party Boat Jacket. This requires players to unlock the Critical Role accommodation. This jacket, I'll be honest, it kind of seems like a patched together version of the Sea Dog Jacket. Which, I think it's cool. I don't know if I'll actually wear it too much to be honest, but I think it's a cool idea. So the Critical Role accommodation is more of a luck based one. And this requires you to roll a natural 20 using the roll dice 20 emote so these are the dice emotes that we got in the free pass this season so you're gonna have to be find a way to roll this dice and land a 20. it'll probably just take a long time to do 
and it's gonna be a more of a luck based thing I'd recommend just like while you're sailing if you have a moment just keep trying to do it these dice emotes that we've gotten are really cool and I'm really excited that we have them and I think it's cool they have a little accommodation for getting a lucky roll I wish they had more of these to be honest I think it'd be cool to have like a set of accommodations that unlock stuff next we have the party boat peg leg and wow, this one's a really unique one. It's basically the top of a banjo, and I just think that's really cool. This requires you to unlock the warning shot accommodation. So the warning shot accommodation tasks players with setting off a signal flare when another crew is nearby. Next we have the party boat shirt. This requires players to unlock the benevolent benefactor accommodation. So to complete the benevolent benefactor accommodation, Players are going to need to donate a treasure stash map that has a huge number of chests on it. So in order to complete this accommodation, you need to bury at least 10 treasures on the same island and then take that map and post it to the quest board. This doesn't take too long to do, but you need to make sure that you have the max amount that can be held on one map, which is 10. If you go over 10, it will just make a new map, which is fine, but you need to put the map that has 10 pieces of treasure on it onto the quest board for it to count. Next we have the party boat trousers. This is the same accommodation as the previous one so I'm not going to talk about that again but these pants look pretty cool to me. Alright so those are all the build rat party boat cosmetics that we got in this season update and I think they're all really cool. I haven't been this excited for a set of cosmetics in the outpost for a long time. Really the only one that comes close is that figurehead we got last season, but I was really only excited for that one figurehead, not even the rest of the set. So I think this is a really cool update, and I think it's got a bunch of combinations. Some of them are harder than others, but most of them seem pretty easy to obtain. So I really like this set, and I'm really excited to unlock those ship parts and that crown. Both of those are the ones I'm most excited for. Let me know if you liked any of the stuff that are in this set and if you're going to try to get any of these in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Make sure to check out the rest of the Season 5 content we have on the channel. There's a bunch out already and there's going to be more coming out in the next several weeks. Just tons of new content. I have tons of ideas for videos. I'm really excited for this season. This season's a bit of more like a role playing type of update rather than like just like a straightforward content. This is more stuff that you basically make your own stories with, and I think that's really cool. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, it'd be great if you left a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.